We are opening door number 16 of this year's Brewers Advent Calendar and today we have a very, very special beer. I'm really looking forward to this one, but uh, which beer it is, which beer style of course and where it's coming from. We talk about this in six seconds. <laughs> Hey and welcome to another edition of ProBeer TV following in this year's Brewers Advent Calendar. My name is Martin and I'm welcoming you here from my little man cave right in the heart of Vienna. And today we have a very special beer that uh, I can say uh, that some people would uh, agree that um, this beer style separates the man from the boys. But no, um, to be honest, uh, I wouldn't agree on this one really uh, because we're talking about Rauch beer. And um, Rauchbier is a very, very special beer style to um, Franconia, which is a part of Bavaria. And if you would to have, uh, if you, if I would ask you to name just one uh, town or city in Franconia that is beer related, what would it be? I hope everybody's now shouting Bamberg, Bamberg. Um, they have Weiermann malt. Um, go to any brewery of your choice and ask them if they use Weiermann malt from Bamberg. I'm pretty sure there will be a bag of Weiermann malt in any brewery uh, around uh, where you live. Uh, they are so famous for, for their, their malting. And of course, they are also known uh, for producing uh, Rauch malt, um, smoked malt. And um, uh, Bamberg has a huge tradition, not only for brewing, but for brewing uh, Rauch beer, smoked beer. So this beer today is a very, very special one. It's coming from Klosterbräu, uh, which would translate to, to Abbey Brewery. Um, and it's um, the oldest brewing site in Bamberg. So uh, you can't get more uh, brewing heritage than uh, today. Um, this brewery was uh, first mentioned in 1333. So phew, that's uh, quite a lot. Um, it uh, is a, uh, has been a, a brew house to the Duke um, from 1533 on. And since uh, 1790, it was um, owned by the Duke itself. Afterwards, uh, it was privately owned. And uh, since uh, 2017, a family Werner owns this brewery. So it's privately owned and family owned. Um, and they try to keep the balance between tradition and modern technology, uh, which is obviously uh, kind of a challenge in uh, Bamberg's oldest brewery since 1333. But um, yes, it's still the oldest brewing site. Um, and uh, what they do um, is um, awarded with many, many medals. You can see uh, it on this side here, um, these uh, gold medals. It's the European beer star in gold they won in uh, 2021 and 2022, so it should be a good one today. Um, as I mentioned before, it's Rauchbier, um, and I'm pretty sure uh, that there will be that there will be uh, lots of you who don't agree that this is a nice and tasty beer. But um, if you are a lover of Rauchbier, you will really enjoy this beer today. I'm sure too. Um, the, the hops being used was Hallatau, Hallatau tradition and Hallatau Perle, which are uh, two very, very um, famous uh, hop varieties in, uh, from the region. It was uh, brewed with uh, Rauchmalz, uh, Munich malt and uh, roast malt. So we are expecting some kind of color in there as well. And it's a um, bottom fermenting uh, yeast strain from Bavaria. So lots of local stuff in there. Of course, they have to keep the, the brewing tradition. Um, yeah, and it's a Bavarian brewery. So, you know, there's nothing else in there as mentioned before. So let's check uh, the alcohol. It's 5.3 ABV, 13.1 degree plateau on the gravity scale and 28 bitterness units on the IBU scale. Oh, I love this color already. Um, to be honest, I haven't had this beer in a very long time, but oh, all the memories are coming back now. Let's see this nice um, mahogany brownish color, some uh, yeah, cup, copper uh, color, oh, and all the area, my, my nose is just above this uh, can, so I'm already getting some of the things we are talking about in just a few seconds. We have um, off-white foam, nice fine 
foam, uh, very, very dense. You can see I can put the glass to 45 degrees and it's not moving on top. Uh, I can see some carbonation in there, uh, at least on the bottom of the, my glass. So check the aroma. La 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 la, I love it. <laughs> Lots of bacon, ham, some toffee, roast notes and oh, lots of smoke. Oh, I want to dive in this one. Do it straight on. Cheers. Oh, lots of smoke. Uh, the first impression is nice um, campfire uh, smoke. Um, very much aroma. Lots of spiciness going on. Malty, really, really lots of roastiness, um, uh, herbal, um, hoppy bitterness, licorice, um, ham, bacon, caramel, of course, and lots of caramel there. Um, it's really keeping uh, all the smokiness and all this uh, ham and bacon very nice and balanced. Uh, grassy hops. adding to this uh, herbal hops as well. So some kind of fresh hops, um, almost um, no, almost no, no um, uh, remaining sweetness in, the, in this beer, uh, mild bitterness, uh, not too tart, very well balanced. And what I like about Rauch beers like, like this one, uh, is when they keep the, the smoke, uh, the ham, the bacon um, in, in, in under control. Uh, it's not overdoing its job. It's there, it's very present, it's very um, satisfying for rock beer lovers, but it's not overdoing its job. It's not like the slap in the face. So um, it's very, very uh, drinkable to me as well. Uh, I would love to hear from you if, if you like this beer. Uh, I'm really curious if you like it. Um, medium body, medium carbonation and a fine slick texture on this one. Um, and in the, the aftertaste, we still have the, the, the smoke. We like like a campfire. We have the mild bitterness and um, yeah, lots of caramel. And it finishes really, really smooth on the palate. Mm. I enjoy this one. Um, it's the Klosterbräu Bamberger Rauchbier. Klosterbräu means Abbey Brewery and Bamberger Rauchbier means uh, smoked beer from Bamberg, uh, the oldest brewing site um, from Bamberg. Lots of brewing heritage going on in the city. If I would to have to, to give it a rating, I would rate it four out of five for the Bamberger Rauchbier, the Klosterbräu Bamberg Brewery. If you agree with my rating, please write your comments in the comments box. Uh, please also write them if you do not agree. And if you have any questions on this beer on Bamberg, please feel free to ask. I try my best to uh, answer you all your questions. So do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, we have lots of uh, more beer reviews for this year's Brewers Advent Calendar. So if you do subscribe, don't miss a video and we'll see each other tomorrow. Enjoy. Cheers.